to learn how to link our uh, Tinder account to the database. And we are going to start dividing the, the categories of uh, people. So we are going to do that by putting uh, the accounts in, uh, into either a male or a female uh, child. That way, when we want to search for um, females, we don't need to go through every single uh, account and check if uh, the account is, is female. We can go ahead and just look, search through the female chi uh, child. So, uh, yeah, that makes, uh, makes it real easy. It makes us so that we only have to look through half the people that uh, are using the app. So, yeah, let's get right into it. And first of all, let's go into our Firebase Tinder project. I'm just grabbing it. Oops. Okay. Database. And I'm just going to show you how it will look like. So you'll have a user's child. Oops. You have to set it to something, otherwise it won't save. But we can add it later. So then mail. Then the UID of the, the user ID of the user that's uh, registering. And inside the user, we'll uh, have a bunch of, a bunch of things. But for now, you'll only add the name. Set it true. It doesn't matter. So yeah. And obviously we'll have a female as well. Female child in the UID. And the name, that's going to be the name of this UID. So the, our database tree will look something like this. Okay. So yeah, we can get right into it. Let's just, uh, actually let's keep it and then remove it. So let's go into our registration activity. All this code is on my Google Drive and GitHub, so you can check it through the links down below. And let's uh, do what we came here to do, which is adding more fields. So, first of all, let's just... Does it want to load or not? I believe not. Oh, wait. Okay, if he wants to load, then we'll give it time. Oh, here it is. So, uh, we'll have to add a name. Name, ID of type, name. Then, we, in order to choose between male or female, you are using a radio group. And that radio group will have two radio buttons. Let's just add it, and you'll see in a, in a second how it will look. Radio button, wrap content, wrap content, uh, and text mail. Let's use capital M. Okay. And another for the female. So I'm using a radio group because with radio groups you can only choose one radio button and it makes it simple for us instead of being listening to for any radio button click and unclicking the other one when the user clicks something. So for example, if male is clicked and you click female, you'll have to be listening for that click and then unclicking the, unselecting the, the male one. So that's not really simple. Radio group takes care of that for us. So yeah, that's all. Can move on to the activity page and we'll be adding the, the edit text for the name.
and the radio group. Okay, now that that's done and over with, we can move on to the um, register on click listener because that's where we are going to do everything. And first of all, we are going to uh, add the radio. Uh, we can add it here. So radio group equals to radio group. Find you by ID. Radio group. Okay. So now, uh, let me just think. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just thinking of what's the best way to do this. So we, with the radio group, will get the selected. Uh, radio buttons ID even though we don't have an ID uh, Given to the, the radio button We don't need it with the radio group. It takes care of that for us so Just call the function get checked radio button ID and With this we can get uh, the text that's associated with the button that's clicked on so now we can create the radio button can put uh, a radio button variable radio button equals to radio button and we can find view by ID just as we normally do with the selected ID as you can see this is a a nicer approach to this problem and it looks really really nice really clean so yeah radio button now we are going to check if the, the user has chosen something the user must choose something in order to re re uh, register otherwise it won't work because we we won't be able to know where to put the user so if the radio button this radio button has a text equal that's equal to null then we simply return and that way if this if is triggered this set on click listener will end here and it won't even start to create a user so yeah now we can go ahead and save it to the database so in here we have an if task isn't successful, is not successful. So we want that, uh, we want to save the information to the database if it is successful, the creation of the user. So we say else string and we get the user ID uh, th that was associated with this user in a moment of creation, so we call mof dot get current user. As I said, the mof has all the information of the current logged in user. All the information that that's displayed in the authentication pane. Obviously, it doesn't have the information that we are going to save to the database. It has all of this. So yeah, let's close that, move on get UID, now I create the database reference to grab again the, the database, we get the reference to here, to that child, one of those childs, and we say current user db, oh, there, there we go, It is being a bit sluggish. Come on. What's happening? 
Oh, okay. It just froze for a second. So you can go ahead and say Firebase database dot get instance. Jesus Christ, I really need a new PC. Uh, get instance. Okay. There we go. I believe that's all the freedom for now. We can move on. Child users. Remember, uh, Firebase uh, cares about capital letters. So don't be mistaken by that because I have people asking me to look at problems and the, the only problem was the a capital letter that shouldn't be capital capitalized and things like that so be careful with that now you're going to get the text of this radio button oh, to string and dot child user id okay so this is the reference uh, in here is current not whatever i wrote current user db okay and now we are going to set uh, actually let's add another child and get that done and we call it name so as you saw here we are pointing to either this or this one depending on the radio button text so yeah just check name okay and now you are going to set the value to current and here it is two hours okay so you can say current user db dot set value to name now we still don't have a name so we can just create we must create we must set the uh, find you by id so m name then name and in here you just say m name name okay and that's it let's just uh, run the project and see if it all checks out so yeah Okay, so it has finished loading. Let's uh, go ahead and register. Let's pick a name, so whatever, it doesn't really matter. So name one, let's choose mail, doesn't matter again. So let's say mail at mail.com. One, two, three, four, five, six. Register. Okay, it didn't crash. That's always a positive. And here it is. This is what we created. So that's we can delete. We have the the mail, the the user ID, and then the name. That's exactly what we we wanted, and that's going to make it really simple for us to move on. To the future so yeah that's all for now um, as always please leave a like subscribe if you have any questions leave and leave them down below in the comment section I'll answer or try to answer to as best as I can to every question if you can please donate to my patreon the link is down below I'm trying to get a better setup because as you can see these legs a lot so yeah if you can please check it out um and that's all for now